Sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog Sports page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. Uh, good morning, Mike Bianchi. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. I'm excited today. We're going to have UCF coach Gus Malzahn on our show at 8.30. As a couple of UCF alumnus, I'm curious what you guys think about the season. Obviously, UCF opens their season uh, tomorrow night at the Bounce House against New Hampshire, a team they should roll over. Um, so Gus had his first losing season ever as a head coach last year, 6-7 and seven after they lost their bowl game. Personally, I thought just making a bowl game in the first year in the Big 12 was a pretty good accomplishment. I'm curious, though, what as UCF fans, how many wins do you think they need to have this year for you guys to be satisfied? Would uh, seven or eight be too high, do you think? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I want to go with eight wins. I, I, I'd love to see eight wins. Eight wins? So that would that would keep you satisfied. They went eight and four. I mean, like you said, I was satisfied last season. What about you, Lynch? I will be satisfied if they win all the games they should win, and perhaps maybe one or two that they're underdogs in. I think they're going to have a good. I think they're going to be really good. I think KJ Jefferson, their beastly quarterback who transferred from Arkansas, I think he's going to have a big year. Um, I think they could win nine. I do. All right. I think they could finish, you know, fourth in the Big Twelve. I'm not saying they're going to win the Big Twelve. I think they could win nine games this year. So we'll see what happens. But I, I sort of agree with Taco Bob. If they could win eight games, you know, finish 500 in the league in their second year, I think that'd be okay. I mean, they got they have two Humpty Dumpties to start the season, so that's two gimme wins well, to begin with. A lot of times, so, yeah, these days you got to you know don't ever let your guard down. And, and at the end of the day, dog, as as alumnus, I can't speak for Pat, but as two alums, I hope that our uh, the NIL money that we contributed, you know, to pull some of these people, I hope it, I hope it goes to good use. <laughs> okay, okay. Speaking of college football, uh, this is uh, for 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 the college football historians out there. So this is the forty year anniversary of the 1984 Florida Gators team that won a school first SEC title was later stripped away for rampant cheating. Um, Florida has always sort of disassociated itself from that team. Well, they're going to honor that team on homecoming this year. Again, the 40-year anniversary, the team was coached by the late Charlie Pell, who was fired amid a, you know, a huge NCAA investigation. The Gators were hammered for all sorts of violations back then. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think about this? They're going to honor the team now. I went back and looked at some of the violations. Is, it, is this the old time heals all wounds mentality? Well, well, I think it's more that, hey, college football has changed. Reggie Bush is getting his Heisman yeah. Trophy back. Yeah. And I went and looked at some of the violations back then. Uh, uh, boosters were banned from the program. One booster was banned from the program for giving a player $50 for washing his car. And here, <laughs> how about this one? And delivering some beef to the player's home. Yeah. yeah. Send them, send them a bunch of beef to their home. Uh, Seems yeah, kind of so. mild by today's standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does. So I'm, I'm actually sort of glad they're doing this. Hey, I'm I want to give you guys a heads up on uh, something also college football related. Make sure you watch the uh, new Netflix documentary on oh, Connor, Connor Stallions. I'm not, it's, I'm not it's, watching it's it. It's fantastic. The science The guy's dealer. just a big fat liar. Dude. He lies about everything. I, d- you have to watch it. I'm just telling you, for entertainment purposes, you should watch this. All right. Does everything he is everything he's saying there a lie? I watched the documentary. I think you'll be surprised, <laughs> Bulldog. Uh, I, I've read the stories about it. Mark Daniels has watched it. He, he says he says he tells the NCAA investigators. Uh, I don't recall yes. if I was on the sidelines right. at Central Michigan. What? What? Um, you don't recall. Uh, Dave Portnoy does. And he, <laughs> right. he, he basically, yeah, it was him. Called and he's a out. huge Michigan guy. <laughs> you know? Uh, so. How long is this so you, special? So, it, it, so wh- an, what's so entertaining about it? It's just, it's it's fascinating. And hey, at, end result, there isn't going to be any more sign stealing because they got in-helmet communication starting this year. That's right. That's so, right. Out of that comes some good, I guess. 
By the way, the NCAA, speaking of the NCAA, they are, uh, there's a proposal out there. Now, you guys will be glad to hear this. Hour uh, and 27 uh, minutes, by the way, Taco. Bell. Okay. Below decks on. That's almost two episodes of Below Deck. <laughs> God. Go ahead, dog. <laughs> yeah, they're going to, there's a proposal out there now. They're going to eliminate the spring transfer portal in college football. So there'll only be one transfer portal in college football and that'll be in december after the season's over so you can't you're not going to be able if this proposal passes uh players won't be able to transfer in april so there'll be one transfer portal but then again i'm sure somebody will sue and the NCAA will back down yep and yeah so that, that yeah that'll probably be overturned in the courts hey uh, nfl rosters uh trimmed to 53 yesterday bulldog that's right. Um, no real big surprises within the state of Florida. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. down at Miami, he's on the pup list, which no big surprise. He's not going to play for at least the first four games, but um, no real big surprises as far as cuts within the state of Florida. All right. Anything else before we uh, wrap her up this morning, Mr. Dog? Uh, well, the NFL is now allowing private equity to invest in their teams they've never done that before so these private equity firms can now invest in nfl teams um washington commanders renaming their stadium to northwest stadium uh, no, no longer will be fedex field no okay that's not, northwest not, like the airline no it's that, it's actually it's a, a, a financial institution i don't even think northwest airlines is is around anymore are they i don't, I don't, I don't know no idea yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, he uh, is host of Open Mic on AM740 and FM969 The Game weekday mornings adjacent to us, and he takes time out of his show to join us here for the sports page on JR each morning, brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 730 on FM969 The Game. You can catch extended versions of Under Oath by searching your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Linton Taco 